Happy Easter to us and a blessed Tuesday. Today's Gospel reading is actually the basis of why since the 5th century or earlier, uh, a very important recognition is given to Mary Magdalene or St. Mary Magdalene, whose feast we celebrate on July. And here is the context of why she is called the Apostle to the Apostles. No, Apostola Apostolorum. And why is she called Apostle to the Apostles? Because in today's Gospel reading, from the perspective of St. John's Gospel on the resurrection of the Lord, she has been given the task to announce, to proclaim, to let it known, let it be known to his disciples of Jesus' resurrection. And you know, this is a very beautiful perspective that we always take a look into from the context of women. No? Uh, nahuma naman hinoon ang Women's Month. But I think we cannot really uh, deny the fact that there is a particular quality of women. No, kana bang usahay sa atong pinulungan mingon ba nga? Kana gang musukit-sukit ba o kana bang mag magkuti-kuti? No, magukit-ukit. No, I like it in Cebuano kay kuti-kuti o nya balibaliho na sa ukit-ukit. Mo na siya. No? And this is actually what God wanted for for each and every one of us. To, to look at little details, even to wait for something that we may not be able to really find out. No, kabalo na biya siyang namatay si Jesus, gilubong na baya, pero ano, nagpabilin pag yun dito. No, and then it just became a very beautiful connection because when she peered, when she looked into the tomb, wala na dito si Jesus. You know, as a student, I remember a very beautiful joke that is always thrown to us no, to those who study the Bible, to the exegetes. No? And what is the, where is the verse taken? It's taken from today's Gospel reading. When they said, uh, when Jesus uh, said to Mary, Why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? No? And then she, she, said, she said, I am looking for the Lord. They took him away. No? Muna'y akusasyon sa usahay sa pag sa pulong sa Diyos nga, Sige discuss, sige discuss, nawala ng ginoo. No? The, the exegetes took them away. Took him away. No, muna'y usahay, muna'y kanunay na akong pamalandungan. Kay, there is one good tendency when we talk about the Word of God. We go into so many different details. Unya, at the end of the discussion, may ngunan, where is the Lord there? No, kay usahay, scientific, daghan kay sa tanan. Muna nga, this is a very beautiful uh, reminder. No, nga, ang pagkakutikutihan, no, when we want to know also the little details, sometimes we lose the essence. No, as they say it also in English, you are also you are always looking about the tail. Where is the head? No, and who is the head? It's Jesus. Okay, and the resurrection of the Lord is something that would always, you know, inspire us to even crave for more. And this is the reason why with. Mary Magdalene as the Apostola Apostolorum, we are also called to proclaim to him, despite the many different drawbacks in our times. And like yesterday's gospel containing the fake news about the, the Lord's body being stolen, and those who were talking about it were, were being paid like the trolls, we also are being now tasked to say something about the good news that Jesus has risen from the dead. And he is among us because he says, my father is your father and my God is your God. Amen. Alleluia.